Hello everyone, and I know what you're thinking. Of course, Smash Bros. doesn't actually happen within any of the world's features. What I'm trying to prove in this video is that all of these universes are connected in a way that all the characters could theoretically meet without Smash Bros. Here's an example. Mario appears in the background of DDD Arena in Kirby Superstar. The Falchion from Fire Emblem also appears in Kirby Superstar's Great Cave Offensive. In Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE, Joker from Persona appears. So logically, Mario and Joker can meet up if the circumstances were correct. The only rule I have set for myself is that I cannot use games designed to be a large series crossovers. So I can't use Capcom vs SNK, but I can use Street Fighter's X Tekken. Alright, let's start off with Mario Kart, which features several guest characters. There's Link, Villager, Inkling, and even Rob, Pac-Man, and the Meath, which also appear in Wii Fit. Speaking of Wii Fit, Mario also appears in there too. Hello Mario! Although there are no playable f characters in Mario Kart, Mute City, Big Blue, and the Blue Falcon all appear. Also, in f GX, you can race on Rainbow Road. Okay, let's take a break from Mario for a minute. Don't worry, we'll talk about it plenty more later. I mentioned Tekken earlier, so let's talk about that some more. In Tekken Tag Tournament 2, there are costumes of Link and Zelda, as well as other Nintendo characters. In Tekken 7, you can play as Geese Howard from Fatal Fury. In Street Fighter X Tekken, of course there's both Street Fighter and Tekken characters, but for PS3, there are a few odd guest characters. I mean, you gave Pac-Man a mech, and Mega Man his NES design. Whatever, moving on, in Xenosaga you can receive an email from Kazuya about winning a fight against his son Jin. In Xenoblade 2, Cosmos from Xenosaga appears as a blade. Back to Mario now, or more specifically the spin-offs, starting with Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong! In Punch Out for the Wii, Donkey Kong appears as a guest fighter. In Minecraft, one of the paintings depicts a level from Donkey Kong. And Banjo's first appearance is in Diddy Kong Racing, which is a spin-off of Donkey Kong. In Yoshi's Story, you can see a Pikachu in a news headline. I tried to hold off on using Wario for as long as I could, but I don't think there's any other way to connect the Ice Climbers and Duck Hunt. Guys, look! A birdie! <gasps> it's pretty! Let's catch it! Now let's clean up the rest of the franchises. I mentioned earlier that Mars' Falchion appeared in Kirby's Great Cave Offensive, but Mr. Saturn from Earthbound also appears here. In Mario RPG, we see Samus leaping at the inn and a statue of an X-Wing. Metroids are also mentioned by Pit in Kid Icarus Uprising. You know, Kameo's look an awful lot like little Metroids. Mario and Sonic are connected by the Olympic Games. In Mario Hoop 3 on 3 and Mario Sports Mix, you can play Final Fantasy characters. And of course, Kingdom Hearts is connected to Final Fantasy. In Fortune Street, you can play as Mario and Dragon Quest characters. There are Mario and Yoshi figures in Metal Gear Solid, and in Castlevania Lord of Shadow, you can obtain Snake's Bandana. There are Mario Game & Watches, plus Game & Watch Graffiti in Splatoon, Peach's Crown can be found in Pikmin, and Bayonetta can dress up as Peach. Whew, I think that's it. That's right, you can connect every series featured with a character in Smash Bros. Except ARMS. ARMS has no connections to any of the series other than Smash. Well, that's disappointing. So to make up for that, I have one more connection for you. In an issue of Dragon Ball, some Dragon Quest characters make cameos. That means that Goku is definitely going to be in the next Smash Bros. game. Trust me. <laughs> 